and Harper Audio present a full cast presentation of Class Act by Jerry Kraft. Chapter 1. Sketch Diary of a Shrimpy Kid. Special Mac and Cheese Edition. My life till now. A quick sketchbook catch-up. My name is Jordan Banks. All my life, I have wanted to be an artist. My plan was to stay at St. Harwell's, my old school, until the eighth grade. Then I wanted to go to the High School of Music, Art, and Mime. That was my dream. Unfortunately, my dream met my mom. You won't be needing this. <sighs> my heart, my dreams. For some reason, she doesn't think that being an artist is a real job. So she gently persuaded, dragged, me to the Riverdale Academy Day School. Rad. It's in a section of the city that's so fancy, its residents refuse to admit that it's actually part of the Bronx. But it is. No, it's not. hey -yah! Ow! My shin! Well done, Penelope. Who names their kid Penelope? Who names their kid LeBron? That's because whenever they think of Riverdale, they imagine a trio of happy kids huddled around a milkshake to keep cool. Like the kids from those old Archie comic books that my mom used to read as a kid. But when those same people imagine the Bronx, now they think of a trio of homeless people huddled around a fire to keep warm. It's not fair. Hey, Jay, you okay? Yeah, just thinking about starting second form. You know, eighth grade. You want to share? Well... I have to make a big decision at the end of the year. If the year goes great, then I won't want to leave Rad. But if I don't leave Rad, I won't get to go to art school. And you know it's still my dream to be an artist. We don't always get to live our dreams, Jordan. <sighs> my dream was to be a sports writer. See? So you get it. Plus, I'm 13 now. And all the stuff I like is still so... So... Still so what, Jordan? Still so, I don't know, kiddish? Like the silly stuff I'm always imagining. Or wishing I was Batman. But Jordan, that's what makes you an artist. You have the rest of your life to be grown. Don't rush it, son. Besides, I still want to be Batman when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. But that's not all. I barely grew this summer. I bet Drew and Liam are six feet tall now. And on top of all that, it's the worst thing of all. My body odor. I played ball with Kirk and Kenny all day. Plus, I didn't even shower tonight. Here, smell my armpit. No, don't! <sighs> Wait, what are you talking about, Jordan? You smell fine. That's my point, Dad. When do I get my big boy stink? What now? One day after sports last year, the locker room smelled so bad that Coach Roach had to go to the nurse. And the only one who didn't stink was me. Oh, well. Cheer up, son. I'm sure that by the end of this school year, you'll smell every bit as funky as all your friends. You're just saying that, Dad. Jordan, I have no idea what I'm saying. Now get some sleep. You want to be fresh in the morning. Dad! Fresh as in not sleepy, not fresh smelling. Oh, thanks, Dad. Co-op City, Bronx, New York City. Drew, honey, have you thought about our conversation? You know, your grades and the basketball team? Grandma, you've always told me I have to work twice as hard to go half as far. But now... You're the only person in the world who doesn't want her kids to get straight A's. You're putting so much more pressure on yourself at this school. And you love playing basketball, but you refuse to go out for the team? I'm worried about you. I just can't be myself at that school. I gotta be more. Well, I'll say a prayer for you. Sleep well. 
I have to be at work early tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Grandma. Night, Drew, honey. And I won't be home till late. And you wonder where I get it from. Riverdale, not the Bronx, even though it is New York City. Not having this argument with you again. We do this every single time I have. Ugh, not again. You you're the only one who is sick of this bill? And keep it down, the kids are sleeping. You're gone all the time. These business trips of yours are really. Ugh, enough. Where are my earbuds? <laughs> Come on, Jay. Time to get up. Ooh. Fifteen more minutes, Dad. Not a chance. Let's go, Jordan. Up and at him. Morning, Mom. There's Mommy's little sweet potato. Daddy's making breakfast. Turkey sausage and grits. Yum. Now go wash up. Breakfast will be ready as soon as you're done. Okay, Mom. Oh, look at you. This time last year, we were waiting for Liam to pick you up. Time flies. <sighs> Especially summertime. Mmm. This is delicious, Dad. Well, honey, you've got one year of rad under your belt and five more to go. Or one year of rad left and four years of art school. Right, Dad? Eat your breakfast, son. Ooh, look at the time. Yeah, we better get a move on. Just let me put some tea in my giant's cup. And now get my backpack. Okay, sweater, backpack, and here comes the new mature Jordan Banks. Come on, Jay. Don't want to be late. Couldn't find parking last night, so we've got a bit of a hike. Coming. I'll wait for you out front. <sighs> here we go. Have a great first day. Love you both. Love you too, babe. Bye, Mom. Got your keys? Yes, Dad. Wallet? Yep. Phone? Uh-huh. Excited about your first day, Jay? Not really, Dad. Well, at least you got some sleep. Some of these kids look like... Back to school zombies? Yep. Happens every year. <laughs> yeah, pretty scary. Hey, you're not the new kid anymore. That's good, right? True. Last year, you didn't know what to expect. But you can never be completely sure what to expect at my school. I feel you, Jordan. But you're smart and tough. You'll be fine. Now let's get going. Good morning, Liam. Breakfast is ready. <sighs> Thanks, Miss C. Be right down. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Liam. Here you go, Grayson. Yum, fruit cup. Extra watermelon, just how you like it. Sausage and eggs for you, Liam. Thanks. Bagel for you, Kirsten. Uh-huh. Anything else you'd like, Mr. and Mrs. Landers? Uh, no, thank you, Salita. Bill? Mr. Pierre is outside, ready to take you to school. But first, there's some new school year treats by the door. New backpacks and laptops. Aren't you lucky? Uh, okay, I'm awake. I'm awake. Okay, Drew. New school year. But man, I sure hate having to take two buses to school every morning again. Well, it's not like I have a choice. 